What's up guys, it's your boy, um, it's gonna be a, a weird video, I'm not expecting this to get many views because I haven't uploaded in so long, but um, this is gonna be a video about the method I use to AFK farm, so it's not really me AFK. I'm not going to the bathroom while my g game is AFKing, but it's semi AFK and essentially what you can do, or you can, you can literally go on your bed, watch YouTube, but you're farming at the same time, it's, it's the best thing. So obviously, um, this is gonna be in the garden. So if you farm in the real in your island, you don't get any more farming fortune. However, in the island, you get farming fortune. Now this is gonna be for never wart. This can be for potatoes, carrots, wheat. Um, yeah, I don't, you can you can make it a lot of uh, things. Um, you can also make cocoa bean an AFK farm, but we don't really. Do, yeah, I mean I'm not farming cocoa bean. But anyway, so. Um, as you can see, we are in garden here, and um, as you can see, we have a huge uh, Neverward farm. So this is two plots. It's not really big, but two plots is perfectly infinite. Um, it doesn't require much. It makes it takes you like twenty minutes to make it. Um, that's strange. I'll fix that later. But anyway, makes you it ha literally takes you like twenty minutes to make it, and it's it's really not hard. So essentially, what you're gonna want is you're gonna want to make. Uh, essentially, you want to set two plots with never wart now uh obviously in order to unlock never wart do such desk and you're gonna have to go to uh grow up milestones and you actually get never wart on the last one so you have to be uh i'm pretty sure it's garden level 10 to get never wart but never wart is one of the ones that make a lot of money obviously uh i'm pretty sure pumpkin makes the most money at the moment uh i'm not too sure but never wart makes me about nine to ten mil an hour now, so how, what is my, why is my farm so good and why am I able to go on my bed and pretty much half, be half asleep? So essentially, what we, what it is, is you can see that it's five by five. So it's not, it, you don't go like this and you turn around. You just farm in one straight line and you just go left and right, forward, left and right. So that's essentially what it is. Um, obviously, you want the best hoe you can. So I got this on the auction. Um, I bought it at 270 mil. Uh, I, I finished upgrading it. I can make it as I, I made it as, as strong as I can make it at the moment um, Obviously I can get dedication for but yeah good luck with that But anyway, you want to get you want to get as, as the best hoe you can get really if you can afford only a tier 2 That's fine. This method is still great Obviously you want to get the best army you can you're gonna need a uh, wrenches boost for this or if you can somehow get a full set and make it Make sure you get 93 speed. That's also really good um, But yeah, you want free for fermental armor or whatever army you can get crappy mail and whatever you can afford and like I said, you want wrenches boots, and you want the preferred speed is 93 because you're farming five at a time. So you can make it 116, but you'd have to do four. But it's not as efficient as uh, as farming five at a time. Now, um, obviously, uh, when when you farming, you can get a lot of visitors. So if your if your farming level is very low right now, uh, what I recommend is you, I recommend you farming with a rabbit pet. So um, it could be any farming pet, it could be an uh, epic level 100, um, it would be the exact same amount of XP you'd get. But until you're farming 35, I recommend farming with a, a rabbit pet. If you're going for milestone, uh, so milestone or you have a JKS competition, always use uh, elephant pet. Or if you just want money and just casual farming, make sure you use, make sure you use mushroom cow. You get um, mushroom as that and you can also, when farming, you can also get mushroom uh, milestones which is really cool. But anyway. So enough of that. Why? How do we make this farm? So essentially, it's very easy. Uh, you're gonna want to buy a few things. So obviously, you need to farm a bit before you start. But you want? I'm just going to my bank because that's where my stuff are. I don't know where else to put them. But you want a builder's ruler and a neverwart pouch. The neverwart pouch is for placing the neverwart, as you can see. And the ruler is essentially to place the soul soul sand and to remove the soul sand. So the, why why do I say to paste two uh two plots? Because um. Getting soul sand is the biggest pain in the ass, right? Um, you can get soul sand if you do slash trade. Okay, apparently you can't do slash trade. Oh, f wait, is it slash trades? Yeah, there we go. So you can see you can get soul sand here. You need two sand and a fermented spider eye. Fermented spider eye cost uh, a regular spider eye, uh, brown mushroom, and sugar cane. Not that hard to make. Uh, and just two sand. So you're really going to need maybe like 10 sand, 10, 10 stacks, maybe 20 stacks. Um, but yeah, so... You want to connect them as you can see this is connected you can see that there's a two plots here but the way the way i farm it i think it's one of the best it's not it's probably not the most efficient 
but it works really well. Like I, I can go to Bazaar real quick and you can see I've been farming for about six hours and I have about sixty one mil in Neverwort here and then in mushrooms I have about uh close to four mil so you, you can see that it's it's a pretty big difference. And you can see that I'm getting a lot of fermento, so if I just touch each ch uh, each chest, you can see I have a lot of fermento over here. Now, so to make it even more efficient, instead of teleporting all the way from there to here, you want to actually set your s your spawn point here. So if I just touch warp garden, you can see that I am perfectly aligned, and you can see that I'm perfectly here. Now, what is the main important part of farming this? So essentially, there are two ways you can farm it. You can either farm it with a Bluetooth keyboard, or you can farm it with a keyboard on your table. Obviously, Bluetooth keyboard makes you more relaxed. You can you can go to your bed or whatever. You can go to your couch, and if you can see your monitor, obviously, I do not recommend macroing. Macroing is the worst thing you can do in the game. You can possibly get banned. I don't recommend trying it. Um, but this is probably the next best thing because essentially, you're farming a lot. Of, you're farming a lot. Like you're clicking four keys at a time, and you're getting a lot of money, and you're getting a lot of XP. Like literally, most of the most of this XP that I have right here, it's it's coming from never warts now obviously uh those visitors have a big change to my uh, experience level as well right but this is really good as well now what are, what kind of keys do i use so instead of using my mouse i leave my mouse alone i have two keyboards i have a bluetooth keyboard that connects straight away to my computer via bluetooth and i have a cable keyboard so when i'm at a desk you know i want to chill a bit and I want to watch some YouTube, I want to talk to people, or I want to actually grind visitors while farming, I stay at my desk. But if I'm just farming and I have someone else in my co-op uh, getting the visitors, hey, they can do it. I'm just going to farm as long as I can before I fall asleep. So, what I want to do, so you want to go to uh, controls, and this is what makes you break the block. So, what I do is actually I make it the up key. So, you, ha you know how you have those four arrow keys on the bottom right middle, sort of? The, there's the left, up, down, and right. So essentially, the destroy button is going to be my up. And then when you go down, um, there's these ones over here. So the left is going to be the left one. The right is going to be the down one. So you want to minimize as much movement as possible. So I wish I had keystrokes on my mods, but I forgot to install it. And then forward is going to be the zero. So the why is it that? Because your pinky is able to reach the zero very, e very easy. So essentially, you're not moving your hand at all. All you're doing is you're moving your fingers, and that's it. Now, with that being said, now if I just touch warp garden... You can see that that's all I'm doing. Now, all I'm doing is clicking my keyboard. I'm clicking two keys right now. It takes you about 47 seconds to go all the way from there to the other side. and to, Sorry, to do one row at a time. It takes you about 47, 48 seconds. Uh, and that's with 93 speed. Now, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of... I'm getting a lot of never -order. That's normal when you have a farming fortune of 1,269. Um, you do get more... Uh, never would if you're using elephant pet, but I want I prefer making extra money, so I'm using a mushroom pet. Um, and yeah, so you, we'll just wait a few seconds until I reach the end. But yeah, you can see that this is really easy. It's it's, it's really easy to make. I'm not, I'm not obviously not going to build it because I already made it. I can't be asked to make it again. But yeah, we're about to reach the end, and essentially what happens is here, you don't have to move your mouse. You're pressing zero, and next layer. Now, my, my, my farm is a bit scuffed because I couldn't be asked to change the levels, but it doesn't really matter because I still have the proper um, angle, I might say. Now, one important thing when farming uh, warts or anything else, um, because you want to be as efficient as possible and you, don't want, and you want it to be as semi-AFK as possible, what you want to do is you actually want it to be... If you, if you get NEU or Sky Honey, Sky Honey is this mod that gives you essentially all of these statistics so you can see what RNG drops you got from farming armor, your crop milestone, etc, etc. So all of this stuff, I'll recommend... I'll link it in the description uh, if you're interested. Uh, it's made by Honeyball2. Really cool, really cool guy. And I'd recommend downloading it. Um, but yeah, so essentially what you want to do is when you do slash warp garden, right... You want to set your spawn. So the way you set your spawn is doing slash set spawn. But as you can see, if you look at my bottom right, you can see that my yaw, which is so it's an, essentially my angle, you can see that it's, it's perfectly 90. The reason why you want this is because if you're, let's say, if your angle is 87 or something, one way you'll be going slower, but then when you go the other way, you're actually going to be off center and you're not going to be able to, you're going to have to move your mouse. That's why when you do slash warp garden and you want to set your spawn point, make sure you're 90 exactly. You can do that by making your sensitivity extremely low if, you're, uh, if your hand is very sensitive. But yeah, and then you want to go like this, and you're farming. 
and you're farming. Obviously, I've already farmed these crops, right? And this farm is essentially fully SME AFK. And all you got to do is just click f two keys at a time, click zero to go forward and restart it all again. And that's pretty much it. You can do this with potatoes, carrots, wheat. Um, not sure about mushrooms. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I, I, it's really easy to make. Like I said, 20 minutes at max. And yeah. And if you want to go farm, if you want to go to your visitors, I recommend having AOTE in your lobby, in your, sorry, in your hotbar. You go over here, boom, boom, press zero, get your hoe out, blah, 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 do your thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped some people. I had a few questions but about how I do this stuff. And apparently I'm the only person in the world to think about connecting Bluetooth keyboard to my computer and going on my bed and farming. I didn't know that people didn't think of that, but anyway. <laughs> But yeah, that's essentially it is, and I hope I've helped some people. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a comment, share the video to some fellow friends, a farm, um, and leave a like, obviously. I'd love a like, and subscribe if you're interested. I make, we usually make uh, shit posts on shorts, but I might start making a few Skyblock videos every now and then when I have the time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.